स्टार्ट पर कॉन्ट्रा लर्नेड ए जी ए सबमिटेड दैट इफ द लॉ इंजॉइन्स फीलिंग ऑफ रिटर्न ऑब्जेक्शन प्रायर टू कंसिडरेशन ऑफ बेल ऑफ ए कन्फिक्ट एक्यूज देन इट ऑल्सो इंजॉइन्स क्रैंट ऑफ टाइम फाइल कंसिडरिंग इंटरिम बेल लर्नेड ए जी ए फर्दर सबमिटेड दैट If a thing is required to be done in a particular manner, then either it should be done in that matter or not at all. He further submitted that amendment was brought by the legislature so that convicts of death sentence, life imprisonment, or for a term of ten years or more. may not be released on bail easily without hearing public prosecutor learned aga therefore submitted that no interim bail should be granted to the appellant without giving opportunity to the state council to file objection on merits learned aga argued that confection of the appellants is sustainable and trial court rightly held them guilty he supported impugned judgment of conviction and sentence by contending that diary of the deceased indicate that she was mal treated with disrespect he further submitted on the strength that mother did not support prosecution version as she was compelled for it to save kedan prasad from conviction who was her relative he further pointed out that pw4 5 and 6 have supported prosecution story and therefore evidence of pw3 does not damage prosecution case and for this he pointed out page 19 ultimately it was argued that bail of the appellants be refused para now analyzing admit and scope of the proviso attached to section 389 of the code is transpires that the said proviso relates to only to a procedure and does not affect or cartel power of the appellant court in matter of grant of bail it nowhere restricts or creates an embargo on such a power what it provides is only a procedure to be observed while considering bail of a convicted accused sentenced with death life imprisonment or imprisonment for 10 years or more thus the legislative intent was never to curtail power of appellant court in matters of grant of bail but only to hear public prosecutor scope of such a proviso therefore cannot be stretched to scuttle power of the court to grant interim bail it was rightly argued that a proviso may carve out an exception but cannot curtail limits of parent section further sentences of less than 10 years of imprisonment is beyond the preview of said proviso where it is observance of granting time to the public prosecutor to file written objection can be it's quashed abate hearing of public prosecutor may be strictly adhered to thus the proviso has been added as an abundant caution only otherwise normally but for certain aberrations no bail in appeal against conviction is considered without hearing public prosecutor mandatory character of granting time to file written objection and hearing public prosecutor has been enacted only to escape abbreviations and block loop holes
of hearing state council in matters of grant of bail after conviction